challenge to Wu Jaru, Smash Rockwell, and Asar. You guys claim these are Egyptians. You're fucking wrong. They're Nubians. And it says so. One second. Nubians in the fifth hour in the Book of Gates too. Image number. And there's the photographer taken in 1996. Now, if you disagree with the entire world of academia, let's see what you can do. You can contact them. American Research Center in Egypt. Contact them. They have a phone number. In Virginia, they have a U.S. office. They have an office in Cairo. Here's the information. You can contact these people if you big and bad, right? So, those are Nubians. You guys are wrong. Now, let's go down. American University in Cairo. Okay. American Research Center in Egypt. Arce. Click on Arce. Okay. American Research Center in Egypt. Okay. You guys are big and bad. You claim that the information is is wrong. Okay, one second. Back. They have a whole section for you. Since you guys are into research, since you guys claim you're scholars, research and programs. American, the Journal of American Research Center in Egypt. Let's click on that. Here we go. Journal of American Research Center in Egypt. You said they got it wrong. No. They're up to date. You can you can get, become a member. Right? You can put in a submission. You can look. You can to view submission guidelines. You can click there and submit something. You guys are big bad scholars. And everybody's wrong except you. Let's see if you can correct that. Because every scholar on the fucking planet say they Nubians. Except you, you guys. Right? You can submit an article to RSA, the American Research Center in Egypt, for consideration. Click there. There's our avenues for you guys to get that change or debate it. Go to the professionals. How do I know they're accurate? Or well, listen to them. Hello. I'm Dr. Emily Teeter, a research associate at the University of Chicago's Oriental Institute. I serve as the editor of JARSI, the Journal of the American Research Center in Egypt. JARSI was founded in 1962 as the first American academic. It's on YouTube, too. First American academic journal devoted entirely to Egypt in all of its chronological phases. She says the journal devoted entirely to Egypt. Let's go. RC is much more than just an outlet for the work of RC and its institutional members. It is an international academic journal that publishes articles on Egyptian history. International journal. Everybody on the fucking planet. Culture and archaeology from scholars throughout the world. Jarsi is published as a part of RC's mission to foster the study of Egypt. Jarsi is a peer-reviewed journal, which means that the articles meet the highest academic standards as established... What you say, lady? Highest academic standards. But y'all sitting here fucking with YouTube niggas who don't know shit. Get with the professionals and change that shit. Debate them. Authors own foster the study of Egypt. Jarsi is a peer-reviewed journal, which means that the articles meet the highest academic standards as established by the author's own peers. Most of the articles are in English, some are in German, some are in French. And in 2020, we added brief summaries of each article in Arabic. You need to read Jarsi if you want to stay current with the newest and reliable scholarship. On current with the newest and reliable scholarship. They know what they're doing. That is all the newest and reliable scholarship we've been looking at on the Theban Mapping Project, which Wujaro says that they're fucking wrong and they got errors everywhere, but he won't write them. He won't call them. 
He won't submit the information to get that changed. Why not? They're frauds. History, culture, and archaeology. JARC is available as a benefit of membership in RC. You can read it either online or in hard copy. See our webpage for more information on membership and access. They got books and journals on every fucking thing in the Theban Mapping Project. Buy one of the journals and break it down. Now I'd like to introduce you to Dr. J.J. Shirley, who will tell you about an important component of JARC, the book reviews. Hi, my name is J.J. Shirley, and I am the book review editor for JARC, a position I started about two years ago. The book reviews are a way to enhance the already excellent quality of the journal. Each book is reviewed by an expert in that particular... They're trying to enhance it. Everyone knows that's a Nubian. If you want to enhance it, they got it wrong, hit her up. Reach out to her. Let's see if Asar, Wujaro, and, and Smash Rockwell will hit them up, submit the information, challenge them on that, and tell them... That is an Egyptian. When everybody in the world knows it's an Nubian, tell them it's an Egyptian. Submit the information why. Write that bullshit remit shit. When you know it's explaining mankind, it's not saying that they're Egyptian. Change it. Submit. Talk. Let's see proof that you wrote them. Let's see proof that you emailed them. Let's see proof that you called the office in Virginia. Oh, there's avenues. Oh, you can't get away. Oh, I've already, I've already called. Oh, I'm on it. ...or area of, of research. And the reviews offer our readers a chance to hear about published books that might be of interest to them and see how relevant a particular publication might be for their own. Oh, y'all got books. Send them through. Get them reviewed. What's wrong? Oh, you just want to bring that to ignorant niggas in the chat. Niggas in the conscious community who don't know shit and don't know no better. You just want to fool us people, but you won't fuck with the big dogs. Let's go. These reviews are also listed or linked to on other online websites, like the OEB, the Online Egyptological Bibliography, which means that our journal and the content of it reaches an even wider audience. Oh, y'all big and bad. Let's see. Let's see. They are constantly updating. They have videos. Hello again. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. They even got a YouTube channel. They got videos. Let's see how update they are. They posted 12 days ago. All these doctors talking about shit. Why y'all ain't on these pages? Why y'all ain't commenting? Why y'all ain't changing information? Look, 13 days ago, 13 days ago. Oh, oh, they be on it. All this information. Listen, the evolution of tomb dressing as an, as, as an Islamic. I mean, the road to Tutankhamun with Dr. Sarah. I mean, why y'all not de dealing with these people? Why y'all not dealing with these experts? Huh? Why y'all fucking with dumb, ignorant niggas on YouTube? Huh? Yeah, because you can't. They'll tell you to sit your crazy ass down somewhere. Now, look. There we go. Arce. Journal of American Research. Submit your shit. Become a fucking member. You know what I mean? You know, submit your shit. Submissions. Talk to them. Get that shit changed. Let's see if Jonathan, Asar, and, and Wujao is going to put something together for these folk. Contact them. Huh? What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? They know what they're doing. Every expert on the planet called it a Nubian. Huh? So yeah, there you go. Hey, YouTube friends, call them. Let's see what they talking about. There you go, Virginia office, call them. 
Email them right there. Arce, American Research Center, um, Egypt. Email them. The one in Cairo. There go the information. Reach out to them. Phone number right there in Cairo. Right now, it's, day, it's daytime right now. I mean, it's 2.30 in the morning here. Right now, it's about what? 11.30 in the morning there. They up. They at it. They ready to talk to you. Tell them they got something wrong. Email them. Huh? All the archives. Email them. You talking about the archives and all them? Email them. Tell them they shit is wrong and see what they tell you. Huh? All this shit for y'all. So, for as it stands, you guys are debunked. I debunked you the other day on this. I clearly showed you were wrong. You're wrong about Remit. Remit means mankind and people. It don't say Remit and then KMT next to it. This is one of the situations when Remit means mankind. They're talking about mankind in the Anduat. Oh, uh, uh, um, you told on yourself today, Wujaro, but I'm, I'm going to deal with that tomorrow. And you're going to be crying again. Okay? It says they're fucking Nubians right there. They're Nubians. In every expert. Right? Of the Theban Matching Project who put this together. And the project of who? The American Research Center in Egypt. Where I was just showing you. These folk right here. Write them. As it stands, you guys are wrong. And Chief X is right. I proved my case with the experts and primary fucking evidence. It can't be overturned by you niggas talking. As it stands right now, Chief X is right. And those are Nubians. Now, if you write them, if you submit some shit, if you become a member and you break it down to them and educate them, because that's all they want. They're ready to be educated. Because you heard what she said. Wait a minute, I'm looking for something. <laughs> oh yeah, you heard what she said, and this is what she said. Hello, I'm Dr. Emily Teeter, a research associate at the University of Chicago's Oriental Institute. I serve as the editor of JARSI, the Journal of the American Research Center in Egypt. JARSI was founded in 1962 as the first American academic journal devoted entirely to Egypt in all of its chronological phases. JARSI is much more than just an outlet. Wait, y'all don't, don't, don't have this RC. journal? Y'all don't have that journal? Okay. And its institutional members. It is an international academic journal that publishes articles on Egyptian history, culture, and archaeology from scholars throughout the world. Jarsi is published as a part of Arsi's mission to foster the study of Egypt. Jarsi is a peer-reviewed journal, which means that the articles meet the highest academic standards as established by the author's own peers. Yeah, y'all shit don't meet the highest academic standards. They shit do. You niggas is wrong. We're holding you three men accountable to do this work, submit the information, correct them if you think they're wrong. But for now, Chief X is right and they're right. Actually, you shouldn't even waste your time, but I'd like to see you try.
entire world of academia just proved you wrong with this. Contact Emily Teeter and tell her them is not Nubians. Contact that other editor lady. Huh? And tell her. This is the article. Surely. Particular topic. Or tell her area that, they're, that, that they're not Nubian. And the reviews. Huh? Tell her. That these black ass motherfuckers right here are Egyptians when you know they're Nubians with the leopard skin. This is Nubian dress, okay? And that's the Nubian. It's the same person. And these are the four men. Or the four mankind in the Book of Gates. That's the fucking Nubian. There's only one pitch black dude. And that's the Nubian. You niggas need to stop lying. It's one pitch black dude. It's one pitch black people. And those are the Nubians. One pitch black people. And those are the Nubians. Let me get it on there so you can see it clearly. Nubians. Nubians. This updated information by all the scholars called them Nubians. And anything pitch black like that in Egypt is Nubians all the time. There's not one picture of a pitch black Egyptian unless it's them representing themselves in death. Other than that, they're Nubian. And this is why Wujar was fucking mad and going crazy and streamed six hours crying all night. Because he's caught in a trap now and Chief X caught him. He is scared to death right now. Scared to death. Because he's, they've been exposed with that BS. Jonathan and Asar, uh, Ampu, whoever that other motherfucker, y'all all have been exposed using this to trick black people and call these Egyptians and act like the Egyptians are black, flat nose, a uh, uh, big lip. Look, they even got the goddamn earrings in their ear. The gold earrings like the Nubians. You guys are dead wrong. Get over it. The case is closed. Unless you three Negroes, you do the fucking work like everyone else did, like everyone else, these Egyptian scholars, like everyone who's visited there from around the world, international, you do the work and write them and, and tell them to change it and that they got it wrong. You won't do it. Show and prove that you did it. I'm on y'all asses. Bend the knee and apologize to the people for lying and being deceitful. You are deceitful to black people on purpose. This is intellectual treason. Intellectual fucking treason. <laughs>